Sprout social tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Sprout social in order to manage your social media from one platform. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to sproutsocial.com and you will land on this platform right here. Sprout Social is all in one social media management platform that unlocks the full potential of social to transform not just for your marketing and you can simply go ahead and schedule different posts and actually make a strategy using Sprout Social. So to get started with Sprout, what you need to do is simply click on start your free trial right here to get a free trial for your Sprout Social. You can simply go ahead and select from different plans available. There's a standard plan available for $89 per user per month. Professional plan is available for $149 per user per month if built annually. And then there is an advanced plan. You simply choose the plan of your choice. You can simply check that there are different features available such as all-in-one social inbox. We have published option, group profiles, custom workflows, and more. Simply select a plan and click on start your free trial. To get started, you just need to add your first name last name, email address, and password, and simply click on create account. After you sign in or initial sign up, this is where you will get, this is our dashboard or Sprout social. So let me show you around. It's a pretty good platform with all the right features and tools for us in order to help us manage our social media. So this is our basic dashboard and in our basic dashboard, you, uh, you will be able to check your latest activity, your post, the task, or you can simply go to your inbox, but we get all of the options separately right here so we have our smart inbox so that's the first option now smart inbox means that i can actually get one inbox for all of my social media so it makes it for us what i can do now is i just have to simply add my social media right here so now what I can do is I can simply go ahead and add different sources right here. So I have added just one source yet, which is my Facebook page. Uh, but all you have to do is click on connect a profile. So now my all of the social media that I will add right here. I will be able to check their messages right here in one inbox. So we have connected our Facebook page. Let's connect another page. Simply click on connect. I'm going to connect a page. It will open up your Facebook for you. You can go to Facebook as well directly to get the link of your profile or you can open it up from this option right here. So you can see they have opened up my Facebook and these are different pages I have. Now, all I have to do is select the page that I want to add. This is my Facebook page. I will click on next and that's it. Now, my Facebook page has been added to my smart inbox right here. So if I go to sources, you can see I have two sources. Again, go to connect a profile and similarly, you can connect your Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Analytics, Classdoor, Pinterest, and more. You can actually create more than one groups and add different profiles to different groups. So for now, this is good. And I can simply go ahead and uh, now I will simply get my comments and my private messages right here. They will be shown in my smart inbox. And that's how it simply it works on our Sprout social. We can also add different tags to our different messages and add priorities that will actually help us customize our Sprout social experience. We can also export our messages from this option right here to our email address. Similarly, we have our private messages, completed, saved messages, custom view, and more. Then we get the task option here. So this is our basic, you know, menu, and this is where we work. So after the smart inbox, we have task option. And now I can create different tasks for my different social media within my Sprout social. Then we have feeds. In feeds, we can add feeds of our social media. So this is really important. And in here, we simply connect our different feeds to our Sprout Social. Let's say I want to connect Twitter. Simply click on connect option. Now you can connect your profile or you can connect an ad manager. So I will connect my profile. Click on go to Twitter and it will open up my Twitter for me. Now simply enter your email address, password for your Twitter authorize app and you can see right here it will add your twitter to your sprout social similarly i can go for instagram and with instagram i will simply click on this option right here which says connect and i will be able to connect my instagram we can also connect an rss reader right here which is feedly that's available right now 
Then again, we have publishing option. This is one of the important options on Sprout Social because this is where you will be creating posts for your social media. Now, what you have to do is you can go for this option right here, which says compose. When you click on compose, now you have to select the source. I will simply select this page right here. You can actually select multiple sources in here. You can select your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all of the social media from here. We can select up to 10 social accounts with the plan that I have selected. Let's say for now, I just want to add this to one page. Simply select the source, enter your post, whatever you want to post. We can add different emojis. We can add an audience targeting, upload media where we can upload videos and uh, photos. Then we have the product link as well. So if I go to audience targeting, then I can simply go ahead and target audience on Facebook and I can actually add different audience option that will actually help me with the SEO of my post. If I scroll down, then we have our publishing workflows. So if you want to post it right now, you can just go ahead and do that or you can schedule it for later. We can also add different labels for our products and these are actually suggested by Sprout Social to help us with our SEO. We can also create an ad campaign within our post. When to post. So this is where we simply schedule our post. If you want to post this immediately like right now, you can simply go ahead and select this option and then it says send right here. Or if you want to simply go ahead and schedule it for later, then you can specify times and date. You can see right here, I can add the date when I want to post it. So I want to post it actually on 25th and the time is going to be 8 p.m. There you go, it's perfect. We also get this option which is auto schedule with Sprout Q. But I think this specify option actually helps you get more control. You can also use the optimal times. So these are the different optimal times for my profile or my region. And you can see right here, 8, 6 is actually perfect. That is why I have selected 8 p.m. Once you're done with all of these settings, all you have to do is you simply click on schedule or you can schedule plus duplicate, schedule plus new as well. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on schedule and this post will be scheduled. Now, what I can do is I can add a note for my scheduled post and you can see right here, we get our own calendar view. I can simply schedule a post for any day from here or I can select from calendar above. Similarly, we get the share option, we get the um, inside option, approval, rejected. Then we have active campaigns, we have failed posts, posts via RSS and more. We also get the listening and report option from here. In reports, you will be able to check all the insights and reports to your different social media that you have added. I have added Facebook pages, so I can go to reports right here and it will give me a separate report for my social media. So you can see right here, these are my different impressions and it will give you your charts and all the insights that you need. And then we get this option right here as well, the quick menu. And here we can connect a profile. We can invite a team member. To connect a profile, you simply click on this plus button and it again takes to this option. To invite a team member, you can simply click right here, add your first name, last name, their social media if you want to filter it by. Then you add their email address and they are added right here. And this way you will be able to manage your team and social media together with Sprout Social. There are a lot of different tools and features. It's really easy to use and helps you get more product. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you know how to use Sprout Social as a figure. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.